What's up everybody on YouTube? It's Chad with Chad's House of Cards. Well, we are going to go ahead and rip into some more Don Ross Baseball 2021. Um, and then I have a whole lot of cards to clean up from the past week. Get my albums going on, especially for the Don Ross and the Heritage that I have sitting here. I got some NBA hoops to put away. Um, long story short, you know, playing the... Uh, field here hopefully trying to get the uh prism the nba prism 2021 thinking maybe she'd come back and do a card stock again but no bueno nothing there i don't know if i'm gonna show up tomorrow morning to see or not if she came in overnight because i really don't think that she did but i don't really want to wait in a line and the prices on Facebook are absolutely crazy for these prisms <laughs> like crazy I'm like no I'm not doing it I'm not paying it I don't care if I don't open up one pack I really want to but not for that price like that's insanity I hope you guys are holding strong and not paying it so we don't have to go through this crap anymore all right, enough with the bad. Let's get into the good. Let's see what we got going on here. Still not very familiar with the product itself. Um, looking up a few cards earlier, but not really. I don't know. Just haven't really gotten into the prices lately, and I haven't really been listing them on my videos. So I'm sorry if you like that, and I haven't been doing it. I've just been super busy and barely making uploads half the time during the day. Running here and running there. Trying to get stuff cleaned up for my son's upcoming graduation party. Pressure's on. I got a house to clean. And I mean gut and clean. I mean, so you're talking like, as you guys know if you've been watching the videos, I sell a lot of stuff on eBay. Sports cards, not really one of them. It's a nice A Rod 87 Don Ross, but like anything and everything. I mean, it started off with, you know, going to garage sales, Goodwills, flipping stuff that way. Then I got into uh, pallets, buying pallets, wholesale goods, Amazon returns. Then I got into storage lockers. And next thing you know, I got a full basement and a full garage trying to go through stuff and listing stuff and trying to do all this stuff on the side. And yeah, I mean, during COVID, well, not that we're still not going through it partially, but during the the hit of COVID, the Babe Ruth, 87 Donruss, um, you know, it was really easy to get wrapped up in that kind of stuff just to keep yourself busy. And that's what I did. And now I got to unbury myself from the mess. So nothing was open. Dumps weren't open for the longest time, things like that. So... You had nowhere to go with a lot of the stuff if you weren't going to sell it. This one is numbered out of 2021. This thing has got fingerprints all over it. And I don't honestly think it's for me. <laughs> Maybe it is. These two. I don't know about this stuff up here. I don't know if you can even see that. Yeah. I can't really catch the right angle. Trent Grism. This is the, uh, what do they call these? Hollow Orange. There's supposed to be six of them in here. They're not numbered. Brandon Belt, that's two. Matt Chapman, that's three. And a Kaseko, that's four. <clears throat> this must be considered an orange. Pete Alonzo Diamond Kings. Kind of cool. I'll put that one off to the side. Davy Garcia. Look at this one. Joe Adele. And it's like craziness. I don't know what you even call this. But it's pretty sweet. Um, let's see here. I'm getting down there on this pack of penny sleeves. And 
I went back to Target, and while I was there, I said, oh, screw it, I'll buy some more penny sleeves while they're here. And I got uh, another 500 pack of penny sleeves. So I got a couple thousand penny sleeves right now, which is cool. Dominators, Jose Ramirez. Jake Cronenworth. Cronenworth. Rated rookie. La Pintera. Interesting. There is a Diamond Kings of Trout. Mike Yastrzemski, Diamond Kings. Ian Anderson, rated rookie. Big Sexy. <laughs> oh, man. So Jordan Alvarez, Cody Bellinger, Diamond King, and a David Peterson. So I'm kind of interested in that Joe Adele, rated rookie. Although I think he's, I think... He's kind of fallen off of the big rookie polls. Who knows, though? Honestly, it's too early. We got baseball starting up, what, tomorrow? Tomorrow does it officially kick off? April 1st? All right. Let's see what we can get here. I don't feel any fat pack like I did out of my first blaster. That was kind of a nice little surprise. Hit stuff right out of the gates. Get yourself hooked. An autograph would be cool. Miguel Tejada. Sam Huff, rated rookie. And it's backwards and it's what like a purple parallel or something I don't know. put that off to the side followed up by a Mike Trout hold a lot of different Mike Trouts so far I've noticed Bunkston, Trey Turner, Trevor Bauer, another Nolan Ryan, Charlie Blackmon, Dominators, pretty cool, Frankie Lindor, see this is what I don't understand, like why was this one in the pack normal but this one was backwards, like what, anybody, is it because it's a rated rookie? Like, what, it, what is the difference? I really got to do some, I don't know. I got to do some digging and really understand Don Ross. Get on the cardboard connection see if I can find stuff. Tyler Stephenson, Stevenson, and a Josh Donaldson. Watching Pac-Man breaks, break open. Well, he just did, I think, three hobby boxes of uh, Prism 2021. Now he's doing six. God, it just makes me want to freaking open up some packs of that. It looks sweet. Super excited. I can't wait to get my hands on it. I know it's going to happen. I just got to be patient. It's probably not going to happen. In the first week of the product coming out for me, but who knows? Giambi, Roger Clemens with the 354 career wins, and Nelson Cruz, Diamond Kings. That's pretty sweet. Maybe if uh, the Twins are going to do their old Twins Fest this year, I'll have to bring some cards with me and see if I can get some autographs. I think. The kids would be pretty stoked, at least one of them for sure, about going to Twins Fest this year. And I don't know if COVID is going to allow that to happen or not, but it's a pretty fun time. I'm sure each 
team does something similar, but it's like a huge card show and players come out and get pictures and autographs and all sorts of cool stuff. It's really fun. Babe Ruth, okay. This is cool. Christian Yelich, and it's like a unleashed. That's pretty sweet. And then we followed up with a upside down or backwards Miguel Carrera. And again, it's, I don't know, I'll put it off to the side not knowing anything. Just Casey Mize, rated rookie. That was a pretty hot pack, I think. Kind of curious about that Unleashed card. Can we see any odds on Unleashed? Holy cow. That's really hard to read. Hmm. I don't want to spend too much time on it, but let's grab a box. That might be easier. Might be. Diamond King's Hollow Purple. Numbered to one. Oh, these aren't really showing odds, are they? They're just showing what they're numbered. Well, what the heck? I wish I knew more about the odds. <laughs> All right. Oh, sorry. Opening it behind the camera. That doesn't work. Lindor, Freddie Freeman, Jack Flattery, Troy Gloss. I haven't seen that name in a long time. Freddie Freeman, again. It's kind of that purple hollow. There's a Soto and a Louis Patino rated rookie. I well, just want to really quickly say thank you everybody for all of your support and continuing to watch the videos for those of you that are. If you haven't done so yet, please hit that like button. Leave a comment. Talk to me. Hit that subscribe button if you're continuing to watch and you're not subscribed. We're getting a lot of watchers and not a lot of subscribers, but literally we're breaking open something every single day. We're just having fun. You're just seeing the product. Um, you know, so... Give me a little bit more support. Let's hit that 100 subscribers. That'd be sweet. So George Brett. Elite Series. Trevor Story. Something that really throws me off that some of these cards aren't numbered. Kest Daddy. <laughs> Tim Anderson. Five packs left. Come on. There's a Vladdy Jr. I don't think I've hit him yet. I don't think. Ryan Sandberg. Here yeah, we got a backwards Clinton Kershaw. And again, I don't know why it's backwards, but it is. Alex Kurloff from Minnesota, Ray Rookies, Chef G. Alright. Come on. Give me something good. Oral Hershiser. Man, there's another name from the past. Dwight Gooden. It's got the stars. I'm sure that's a we got another unleashed card. They must not be that rare. But a Frankie Thomas unleashed. Pretty cool. We'll put the big hurt over by Mr. Adele. Jack Flaherty. Paul Molitor. I always liked him as a player. I loved him as the manager for the twins, but Unfortunately, he got the old boot after the Twins weren't doing a very good job because that's what they do. They go after the manager usually right away, but I always liked him. In fact, I've liked a lot of the Minnesota Twins managers.
Iron Judge. There's another Frank Thomas, 87 style. Another Tatis Jr. Vladdy Jr. 87. Nope, just Vladimir Guerrero Sr. Highlights. This card is banging. DJ Lamahu. Lamah? I don't know. I'm sure I'm butchering it. Kind of cool though. Backwards Jazz. Chisholm, rated rookie. Put him out to the side. Nate Pearson, last pack. Come on, last pack magic. Let's go. Trevor Story. Josh Hader. Max Ride. Jason Giambi. Bam, bam. <laughs> and a Pete Alonzo. All right, everybody. Well, that is it for this break. Um, depending on what I find, you know, we might open up some more Don Russ. I only have a blaster and a hanger left of that. I got plenty of Tops 2021. I got a little bit of heritage. We could go back to some NBA hoops. I got lots of Pokemon. In fact, I got some Hidden Fates tins that are burning a hole in my pocket. So, I don't know. We'll see what we do here. See how the weekend looks going into the weekend anyways, I guess. All right, everybody. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow.